blue bit looks slightly strange so I am just going to add a little bit of the yellow ochre and I'm just going to go back into that and whilst we've got that on the brush let's do the stamens this goes up there and all these little dots Well, I thought it would look a little bit more interesting like it is actually on the photograph but as we were um, rolling around and, um, and a few drinks of wine no I think that sort of goes with the image that I'm trying to keep a little brush and let's just pull that out because that's a little bit lighter that's darker there so just let that go in and just clear water that round. still a bit wet so I'm a bit reluctant to put the palette knife on that whilst that's still wet but maybe we could just tidy up around here as you can see I use the keep wet palette which has a little bit of something like blotting paper underneath that you just keep damp and this grease proof lining on top which you dispose of every so often when you've got so many colours on there that you can't carry on working. I've just squeezed a little bit of my colours on and that will keep quite fresh and able to carry on working for months. As See where that shadow comes down from there and then pull it across and that will also go through there. It goes actually right across the road so follow it through. fiddle with the face a little bit more because it looks a little bit crude at the moment um, because before I do any finishing touches I want the hands the face the arms to look really nice and then the rests can be sort of quite loose <laughs> 